Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to tap into the message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Cancer. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. All right, Cancer, let's just dive right on in there, shall we? Message for Cancer, please. Oh, I like this. We have Bliss. Oh, one of my favorites. Bliss and Grace, my two favorite words, cards, energies. The beauty, the innocence, the lightness, the fulfillment of bliss. Where there's not a care in the world, no worry. Just connection. Being able to see all the beauty of life through the lens of the divine. Let's see what this is all about, Cancer. I love this. It is a sensation of when we have all the oxytocin flowing through the body. It's a natural high. And very addictive too. Can be achieved without any substances. I recommend not achieving it through substance, especially in this energy anyway. Okay. <laughs> What's the message for Cancer? Ooh, I just got hot. Okay. Seven of Emotions, the Hierophant. Okay. Okay, Queen of Materials. There's a big lesson here for you, Cancer, the Emperor. All right. Mm-hmm. Some of you may be wondering, where's the bliss? Why can't I tap back into this bliss? Did I make the wrong choice? Did I, did I, what is it? I'm confused. How did I get there before? I thought I knew, but now I'm not sure. Well, this is your lesson. This is your understanding. And it does have to do with some of the belief systems that you still have in play. When it comes to the material realm and maybe things that you think or thought or believed brought you happiness, meaning things. A lot of times when we are trying to fill that void internally, we look to things outside of ourselves, whether it be materialism, whether it be some kind of adventure sport, something to bring this element of, of bliss back into our lives. But the problem is, Cancer, when you're just trying to control it all, you're not going to reach that state. You're going about it in a very old programmed way. And you're not going to be able to find this state outside of yourself. It comes from within. And this is what you're learning. This is what you're understanding. This is also about, because we do have a lot of energy that is linked to both the Aries energy with the eclipse coming up, the beginning of the Zodiac, the uh, adventure, the new start, the Mars energy, and then the Pisces energy, the end of the Zodiac, the subconscious fears, the subconscious mind, the, the spiritual, the realm of the non-physical. So we've got the whole zodiac wheel we're working through right now. Everything. And um, Chiron, which is our deepest core wounds from childhood, is conjunct this eclipse in Aries. So we are having many months, many weeks, at best, but probably longer 
uh, everybody's different, but um, we're going to be uh, facing our fears, subconscious fears. We are also going to be um, seeing and experiencing um, being triggered, having our deep core wounds triggered within us come to the surface. And the, the whole part of the journey is the way that we can actually liberate ourselves and free ourselves from the, these wounds. Um, the, the way we can heal them is we actually need to go into the pain instead of run, escape, because the Pisces energy is very strongly linked to escapism, sticking our head in the sand, sweeping things under the rug, run away. Or the opposite would be to um, embody that victimization and identify with it. Um, both are actually not helpful, actually can really hinder the healing experience. Um, so maybe the search for the bliss um, is part of that escapism. I don't want to feel pain anymore. I don't want to, I mean, and yes, who wants to feel pain? But truly, if you want to be free from the pain, we must really deeply go into what is surfacing. Mercury's in retrograde, and that brings up the past. We have memories of the past, people from the past, all kinds of emotions from the past resurfacing so that it gives us an opportunity to heal, to actually go into that instead of run and escape or hide or identify with it, glorifying the victim, the, the, the victim role. Because we've all have been victimized, every human on the planet. To look to others. Um, there we go my pain is greater than your pain and that's why i can't heal um kind of attitude competing um or being jealous of others because they have help to heal but really you can't you cannot if we compare ourselves to others and their journey you're missing the mark you're missing the mark and that is distracting you from your own healing and your own journey Stay in your own lane. There's a lot of internal conflicts going on as well, which is um, stirring things up. And it's really bringing up this anxiety, this need to get back to this blissful state. And you may be meditating all day long and just not getting there because spirit's like, no, cancer, you got to go into the pain. Go into the pain. That's the key to unlocking you. The key to freeing you from the pain is to go into it. Healer, heal thyself. The only one that can heal us from our deep wounds is us. Truly. We can get assistance, and we do get assistance from outside sources as to recognizing and understanding those wounds because a lot of them are deeply buried and hidden. But at, at this time through the eclipse cycle, they're not. They're not, but the energy's intensifying, and I've been one of them, like, no, like, I've run from it, but then I stopped and went back and went into it just recently. Um, so I know how easy it is to just, like, uh-uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of the pain. This isn't to cause you suffering. We cause the suffering by um, not going fully into it. And instead, trying to escape from it, run from it, hide from it, or identify from, identify with it. Okay, keep going here. I feel like I just dropped those by accident. No accidents, I know. All right, Temperance, King of Pentacles. <laughs> well, that one wanted to come out. All right, Two of Wands. Okay, I get it. What else do we have for cancer? And I want to get this message out with as much compassion and heartfelt energy as possible. Sometimes that's hard to do when I'm channeling energy that's going through me so fast. So I, I apologize if this seems... Um, anyway, that's my own stuff. 
I, I, I do empathize with, I feel this pain and this internal conflict deeply and this, this grasping and desire to, I just want to be at peace. Where's the bliss, right? Well, you are in this preparation phase. There's an opportunity, there's a window here for you to actually go into and heal some of this stuff to free yourself from that. There truly is. And you are kind of sitting back Preparing yourself, you're looking out the window to the the potentials. Yeah, I could probably do that, and it probably wouldn't be too, so bad. Um, so it's a, it's a stage. Two of Wands is a stage of preparation for higher learning and wisdom, understanding, and understanding also what limiting beliefs, what belief systems are still at play. Are you believing that others are out to get you or out to harm you? It may look like that on the, on the surface, but what internal conflict is going on? What can you recognize, especially from your earlier years, but even now, how are you treating yourself? How are you talking to yourself? How are you judging yourself? Here's that heart energy again, Ace of Cups. So it seems as though you just continue to try to get your heart chakra open. A new opportunity for heart chakra, but again, it's below the queen of materials, which is, for me, it's a, it's a karmic energy because this is us looking outside of ourselves for some heart connection instead of giving it to ourselves internally. Loving yourself? We have temperance overall. So you are moving through this period of balance, whether it feels that way or not. The pendulum swings both sides. But this is also a card of patience, to have patience with yourself. Again, through Mercury retrograde, always asking for patience. If we try to rush through and this Aries energy is going to want us to like, I want it now. I can't wait any longer. Uh, where's my happiness? Where's my bliss? I've been doing everything I need to do to get there and it's just not here. Be patient. Slow down. You're going to be skipping over steps again. We get an opportunity to actually go back over things that we missed we missed the mark and we we skipped over some things in the past especially all the way back to the last time we had an Aries Libra eclipse cycle uh between 2004 and 2006 so we are picking up that energy and we are revamping it again so that might give you some help there we're going to get uh one last message here from the native spirit oracle some advice for you if you're liking the video so far please don't forget to click the like button below the video and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. And Cancer, I feel the pain. I feel the angst of, I just want to be, I want my happy back. I just want my happy back. It's coming. Be patient. Slow down. Find that internal conflict that is showing itself to you in one way, shape, or form. Either through, I don't see the mirrors here, but um, where, what are you trying to escape from by going outside of yourself? Maybe you're going shopping too much or you're looking to some kind of something. It may even seem healthy, like an exercise routine or, or this or that to like distract you and get you out of this pain when spirit's like, no, cancer, go into it. It's like ripping the Band-Aid off. You're just prolonging it and delaying it and delaying it by looking outside of yourself. This is a good time to take some time to yourself solitude and um allowing your body to bring these memories and these emotions up from the cellular memory of your very cells in your body and just go into it remember this goes all the way back to childhood and these are deeply buried subconscious fears 
subconscious pain. We we store things. We fragment so much in our lifetime. And now is our chance to heal and bring those fragments back into wholeness again. And once we do that internally, we start to see our external world fall back into wholeness again. And that's not spiritual rhetoric. This is something that I live by and I've experienced firsthand more times than I can count personally. I don't teach or preach or talk about anything that I have not experienced myself. Flowing river. There we go. See, you don't want to keep controlling and trying to make things happen. You want to slow down and find that flow. That's another thing that Spirit's been asking many of us to do is to allow ourselves to flow with the energies. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. It's time to let go. You're entering a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly with good timing. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. Let go of the shore and enjoy the ride. And this is meta metaphorical for the flow of emotions. By the way, water is our emotions and the stream of emotional flow, energy. Okay, your native spirit wants you to know rivers have personalities and carry energy just as animals and plants do. Uh, native cultures throughout the world believe that it's important to listen to the language of the river. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations or that you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others to support, support and help you. Heed the Native American saying, it's best to ride the horse the direction it's going. This means that when the card flowing river chooses you, you're being told to let go and go with the flow. If there is something or someone you need to forgive, this is the time. This is also the time to forgive yourself and just let go. Yeah, Pisces, that you will find your bliss. You will find your bliss. And it might not make logical sense because we are not taught the actual natural rhythms of life. We are programmed and conditioned against the flow. But this message is, um, I can't get any clearer. Um, I hope that you found something or you found this to be helpful for you. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.